Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Melissa. Thank you so much for joining me here. Today's video is a fun one. We're going to be redoing the guest bedroom, well, part of it. We had a dresser in there that we weren't using, so that's already gone. We had someone come pick that up, and I put together a new plant shelf already. I filmed some of that footage, so I'll probably like play some of that a little bit, but it was very easy to put together uh, instructions and everything. So that is already in there, it's empty. I did get some new lights that we're gonna put up. I decided to go with the Barina because I love them and I have them in my plant room everywhere. This new shelf is gonna be mostly for propagations and just like little random plants that I have. So I'm excited, I'm excited to get all that set up. I also just got my lace wings delivery order. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up and put those out cause I'm just so excited. If you didn't know, I ordered from a different company and uh, they didn't work, they were a dud. So I just went with a local place. Someone suggested them to me and they were able to ship them uh, to me locally here. So. I'm really excited. I have high hopes that they're going to do well this time. I have like a mealybug problem actually in this little dining area here that I'll show you. And yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited to try them out because I haven't tried lace wings before. And yeah, I'm, I might put a little bit in my plant room too, but we'll see kind of how it goes. I know they can bite, uh, but that's okay. I feel like I can handle uh, a bug bite if one bites me. Also, I just want to say one thing before we get started. I have been messing around with my camera settings as well as the volume settings on my mic. So in this video and maybe like my coming next several videos, my audio and camera might be a little bit different. You might notice some changes. So if they're bad changes, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try and fix it in editing if something doesn't sound right. But I'm really wanting to kind of improve the quality of my video and the mic. I just, I don't know. I've just been doing a lot of research and I'm trying to understand and trying to get better about it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I just want to throw that out there. If my audio seems off or different, if it sounds like it's better to you guys, let me know down in the comments because I'm always working to try and improve my video quality and sound and all of that. So I just want to give you a little warning. It may be a little bit off as I try and figure all this out still. So I'm going to grab the lace wings and get those put out with you guys and then I'll show you the space in the bedroom and what we're working with and we're going to get started with that. All right, here is the box that the lace wings came in. Right here. Hi Luna. I got these from uh, Savannah Hydro. It's called Savannah Hydroponics and Organics. So that's where I ordered them from. So I guess it's a local place. I had never heard of them before, but I had asked my Instagram if anyone local knew of any place because I really wanted to go and pick some up in person just because the ones that I had shipped previously from that other company, they just were a dud. And I just didn't want to deal with the hassle of trying to, I don't know, I'm just out the money. I just don't want them to resend any or anything I'd rather just not deal with it. I'm going to be getting my beneficials now from Evergreen Growing. I want to try uh, the mites from there because I had never ordered from there and that's where a lot of you guys suggested I should order from. So Evergreen, Evergreen Growing Supply. Um, I'll have it linked in the description, their website. So I'm going to order from them next time. I am really nervous, you guys. I'm worried that if I open this, are they going to just come flying out everywhere? I don't even, honestly, I don't even know what I ordered. I don't know if this is the larvae or eggs. I honestly have no idea. So it's going to be a surprise. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Um, I'm not a bug person, but I've gotten used to mites because they are, they're so small that they don't bother me and I know they're good guys, they're good pests that are taking care of the bad ones, but lace wings are a little bit bigger and I'm a little nervous. All right, here we go. I don't know what's in here. Oh, 
Okay, green lacewing eggs. Okay, they're in a pack here. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think it's just a little information on them here. If some of the eggs are turning gray or you see any microscopic movement, it means they are starting to hatch. Lacewing larvae are gray-brown in color and very tiny when just hatched. So you may need a magnifying glass to see them. Apply the lacewing cards throughout the infested plants. After hatching, the lacewings can search nearly 100 feet for their first meal. They attack almost any prey they can grab using pincher-like jaws. After injecting a paralyzing venom, they suck the body fluids from their helpless victim. That sounds awful. <laughs> uh, during the two to three weeks it takes lacewings to develop through the larval stage, they'll eat up to 200 aphids or other insects, larvae, and adults a week. Growing up to a half inch long in the process. I don't know why that just gave me goosebumps. I don't know. I'm imagining half inch long lacewings in here. Then they spin into a silky cocoon, cocoon, pupate a few days later, and hatch into a beautiful yet fragile light green adult lacewing with large, shiny eyes. Adults live four to six weeks, during which time females lay up to 200 eggs. I don't know, this stuff is just so fascinating to me. I just love learning about this, and I don't know, I just find it so intriguing. So it's supposed to be eggs in a card, which is to be hung among your plants. My only issue with the eggs is I should have ordered two because I wanted to release them in my plant room, but I also, the main area that has the mealies is this area, dining area that I'm gonna show you. I haven't noticed any pests in my plant room, so if I don't release them in my plant room, it should be fine. And I was just thinking the other day, the only thing I'm concerned about is them getting outside because we leave our patio door cracked open because the cats go in and out of there. So I'm worried if I leave it open, they're just going to fly out. Um, I didn't think about that. So I'm going to have to see how it goes. So this is the pack that they're in. Let's see what we're working with. I'm honestly so nervous. Oh, there's lots of little cards. Oh, that's all it is? I thought it was some giant card. Oh, that's an ice pack. Oh, that is so tiny. I, honestly, you guys, this was not what I was expecting. So I have multiple cards. Good, I can hang them on plants in my plant room. I think there's five cards. I think I remember her saying that on the phone. Okay, awesome. So that's what it's looking like. So they're little black cards, it looks like, and the eggs are all on this card here, and they'll hatch, and you just hang them on your plant, and then they'll like hunt for food. That is so cool. I was expecting, for some reason, I was just expecting one of those big cards, and I'm like, oh no. So now I'm trying to decide. I'm definitely not putting any in the bedroom while we're sleeping, even though I have plants in there. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably do three out here and maybe two in my plant room since there's five and see how it goes. So it doesn't look like anything's hatched or anything. If some of the eggs are turning gray or you see any microscopic movement, it means they're starting to hatch. And I can't tell can't tell if anything is turning gray or not. So there's five cards and a thousand, so that means there's 200 eggs per card. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. So each little card contains 200 eggs. That is crazy. <laughs> All right, let's go put them out. <laughs> so I just took one of the cards out. Look at that. It's so cool. This is the area that we are working with. This is my dining area here. And this is an east window uh, that the light comes in from. And I first noticed the Hoyas on this Hoya Rutusa right here. It used to be in my plant room, but it attracted ants because 
They have a ton of single flower blooms on this Hoya. You can actually see some there coming in. And it's a very sappy, very, very sappy Hoya. And there's actually mealies all over this plant. I did hose it off in my sink because they were getting out of control. I'm gonna try to secure this on this plant, just like that. And that way I can keep an eye on them. I don't know why, I just think that is so cool. One of the other problem childs that I spotted mealies on is this Hoya here. So we're gonna do one more little clip onto this Hoya. I don't know if I see like any actual mealies on this one, but I'm gonna leave this one I think up top here, that way I can keep an eye on it. There we go. So we're gonna leave that one there. And you see that mealy right there? Right in the center, if it's sticking up. So we are actually gonna put him uh, right here on this vine. It's gonna be so much fun to watch every day. I'm just so excited for this. We have two left, so we are gonna go into our plant room there and put the rest of them out. I think I'm gonna put one on this uh, regal shield here, I think is where I'm gonna put it. Um, it's not one that I need to like repot or do anything with. I feel like, I don't wanna put it on my moss poles, so I feel like that's kind of a good little spot there. Okay, I actually have six cards. I wonder if they gave me an extra, because I could have sworn she said on the phone there was five cards. So maybe I'll do one more out there and then do, uh, one more in here. I think I'm gonna put this one on a Maranta because this plant has had flat mites before and I don't really take this plant down that much because I usually just water this one in its spot. And I feel like I could keep an eye on this one down here. We're gonna put this other card on another Hoya right here because um, both of these Hoyas actually had mealies too, but I sprayed them. So yay, I am so excited that I got to put these out and I'm excited to see how they're gonna do. So next up is the guest bedroom. I'm going to show you that space. I'm gonna clean that area out. We're going to install the lights first and then we'll kind of decorate the plant shelf. I have a lot of props and rehabs that I need to take care of. So I'll probably make that a separate video. I'll actually pot up a lot of props and do some like random repots with those plants. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna like do my best to put them there. Uh-oh, do you see someone behind me? Who's behind me? Chichai. Hi. Hi, buddies. You? Yeah. Hi. Come here. Hi. You're so sweet. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go to the bedroom and I'll show you that spot. This is the space that we're working with and this is the new shelf that I built. So this is where we had the dresser uh, in our guest bedroom and we don't use it or anything. So I got this plant shelf. I got this from Amazon. I can link the shelf down below. Um, and the one that I had out in the dining room, I got them both from Amazon. So if you are interested, they were really easy to put together. I did them both myself and it seems very sturdy. This one has like a pretty, um, I don't know what kind of color that looks like. I don't really know exactly how I want to set this space up. I do want to take the shelf down because I'm not using it. And I don't like that grow light thing, how it's on the wall like that. This is the other shelf here that has gotten out of hand. These plants are so neglected and I feel bad for them. They're plants and props that I just stuffed in here, rehab plants, a lot of like propagations. I have one Verena T5, it's two feet, that was extra. And only really the top shelf gets light. So it's not even really enough light. And I don't even use the bottom shelf. So I'm thinking about using this as storage, maybe in a closet somewhere. I just definitely know that I want to reconfigure this space. All right, so I purchased these from Amazon. Again, they're the Brina, they're the T5s, and they are an eight pack and they're the one foot. So I think these will fit perfectly. And then I also got more outlet timers. 
These work with my Wi-Fi. This, this is what I have already. I already have the app downloaded and all of my grow lights are on timers except for one. This is what they look like. They just have the plug here and that's the like button that shows that it's working. I'll use this one for the Barina lights because these you can feed all the lights into one another. So you just need one plug. And this one I'm gonna use for the new Barina tower light in my plant room so that I don't have to turn it on and off every day. I just like having them on a timer. So this is what they look like. I highly recommend Barina. They're inexpensive, but great quality. For a set of eight, I think it was like 40, some 44, $41, something like that. So it comes with the individual lights. Then you get the zip tie cables. I like these because they're clear, especially if you have a white shelf, it just kind of helps hide the cords. I use these on mine. You also get the connector cords. This connects the lights into one another. You get the end pieces, which plug into the wall. And then you get, you have four of those. So you can set it up to however you want, however many you want to clip into one another. The little piece connects into here like so, and this plugs into your outlet timer. And then each of these cords just plugs into each light. So this one on the opposite end of the outlet plug connects into here. So this will be like on the top shelf and then I can feed the wire and hook this on the bottom shelf and then like next to each other like that. I think you can get these longer depending on your shelf. Uh, if they don't work, I think you can probably find some other links maybe on Amazon. I don't know if Arena has different links. Um, and if it's too long, what I've done before is I've like zip tied this in a way, I've done this on my other shelf where I kind of loop it in the middle like that. And then I zip tie it like that so that it's shorter depending on the space of your shelf and what you're trying to do. So that's what I've done. I've like created a little bow with it. These are little extra pieces, screws, little um, anchor clips, I guess, if you're wanting to screw these onto the shelf up top these little metal pieces in here can clip on top and then you can screw the lights into something if you want to screw them in but i use the stickers they come with stickers if you want to use these these are very sticky so once you have them on don't like you don't want to move them because it's really hard to come off and this will stick to your shelf. So just make sure your placement is good before you start sticking them. So I took the sticker off of this light and I'm just gonna eyeball roughly like in the middle of this shelf here and I'm just gonna stick it on. Just keep in mind that uh, they are very sticky so you may damage your shelf a little. And I will fix all these at the end. What I'll do is like I said, add the zip tie, another cord piece, and you're gonna take it to the end of one of your lights. I think I'm gonna do it on this side actually. Connect it into here. I need the longer cords. Shoot. I thought this was, I didn't even think about this not being long enough. Do you see what I mean? It's like very taut here. It's the cord's not long enough. I'm gonna have to find the longer cords. I don't even know if Amazon has them or Barina has them. Shoot. I really don't want a yellow cord like right in the middle. I'm probably gonna have to delay this. But you kind of get the gist of what I was doing, right? So on my other shelves, they fit because I guess the shelf is too big. Stars on the bed. So if you see it shaky, uh, I'll do a search on Amazon and see what I can find. And if I can find the longer cords, I'll order them and then I will let you know. And then I'll make a part two where we finish setting this up and rearrange this room and then we will get to put the plants on the shelf. So we will pause right now on this and let's go do some plant care. Everything 
anything that I water, I'm just gonna sit in here so that they can drain. I'm gonna leave these in moss, but I'll eventually like split them up and I'll probably uh, let these go. This is some Epi Panatum Albo that I took off of my moss pole when I extended it. It had one strand that was just like not really attached or anything, so I took it off. And I have it in stratum. It's completely dried, and look at all those stratum roots in there. So yeah, I just need to like severely take care of some of these. I really need to separate these out into like their own individual pots. That way I can look at maybe getting rid of some. I'll probably end up doing a story sale on my Instagram. I really want to open a website or an Etsy shop. I haven't, I really want to do my own website, but I just feel like that's going to take some time to figure all that out. Kind of giving the leaves a little wipe off too. Uh, this plant will perk back up. It's definitely, it got a little dehydrated, but it'll do fine. It'll be perky again tomorrow, but this is one that I definitely need to split up. I just don't want to split this up yet and have a bunch of containers until I get that shelf set up because I just don't have anywhere to put these right now. So just kind of keeping them together. And I have so many overgrown props. Like these are some Syngonium that I've had water propping forever. And I don't know what to do. My Syngonium, I'm thinking about adding them all on a moss pole like I did with my Syngonium elbow. I, uh, like look at that. That is crazy. I put like six vines of my elbow to climb up and I think that would look cool to have a moss pole with several different varieties of Syngonium. Like this is my Syngonium Aria that I really need to just like get potted up and taken care of. So I might do that one day. This is actually really bad. Oh my goodness. These are two plants that I've really been putting off. Maybe I should do one of these today. I have my Monstera Peru that I have my normal pot in my room. I just keep cutting the runners off and clearly it's been in here for a very long time. And then I have my main uh, philodendron strawberry shake. I have the top part of it in stratum, but I also have all of these props that I have just stuffed in water. And I just don't know what to do with all these. I honestly have no idea. They're all just like intertwined. Maybe I should do the Monstera Peru since I have so many cuttings of the strawberry shake.
This is also a plant that I've like totally neglected and forgot about. Look at the leaves coming back in. This is a philodendron mayoi. It, I had it grown really big and tall on a stake and I completely chopped it back. A lot of the original leaves have died. Looks like this original leaf is going to. I'm just gonna cut that yellow one off. I just wanna figure out what to do with it. Um, it grew really long internodal spacing. It's a beautiful plant, especially uh, bushy like this. I kind of like it very bushy like this. I think it would probably do very well on a pole. I don't know how well the leaves would actually size up. Um, but yeah, I just don't know what to do with it. It's really cute though. Okay, I'm back. The only plant that I want to take care of real quick is this sad alocasia silver dragon that had the fungal issue with the rest of my plants that got affected. Part of me really does think it was the rainwater now. I just have something in my gut that's telling me that's the only thing that a lot of these plants had in common because not only was it with pretty much every single one of my alocasia, some other plants got a fungal issue, my rattlesnake calathea, my philodendron varicosum, I think my stromanthi caught it, and maybe some various others that I'm questioning, uh, and I don't know what else could have happened to them or why it would have spread. So I am going to take my silver dragon out of the soil. I'm gonna rinse the stumps, and you guessed it, we're gonna do it in pond real quick. I don't think it would take that long. I have this little cutie corn that was growing in my cabinet. Uh, it looks like a silver dragon. And I have, I guess, some little capria corms in here too that are popping up. I've had the, these corms in here for a very long time. These have taken a while to pop. Uh, I didn't even realize I had a silver dragon in there. I was just looking through them like, let me make sure I don't have any other corn. Uh, let's just dump this guy out. We're gonna dump on our little, I have a little potting mat here. Try not to make a mess. look healthy. You can see the entire root system. <laughs> that little guy, he should do well transferring to pond. I have so many corms popping off of this guy. Oh my goodness. There's so many on up top. There's four just right there. Here's a little empty stump. There's another little baby corn. going on with most of my other alocasias that had the issue like a lot of the roots were just like coming right off it's like they were fried in a way just a little root prune sometimes I have to do this oh my gosh the corms are absolutely insane I just have to decide if I want to cut these or not to propagate because we would have a lot of stumps that we're adding in. I almost want to do the stumps in a separate container, but I'm trying to consolidate. I really like the ones with the leaves with this little baby would be really cute to pot up together. I don't know. I'm going to rinse them and then I'll think about it while I'm rinsing them. So I'll be back in just a second. 
I am going to save one stump, I think, for a reel or something to do. Uh, I don't want to like overcrowd my pot, so I'm only going to do one stump. This is the smaller one. And then I have this one with leaves, uh, another empty stump, another empty stump, one more with leaves plus this one. So that's a lot of corms that I'm gonna add in here. Maybe I should get one of my bigger containers because this is gonna outgrow this so quickly. I'll use this one for now and then I will pot up. I don't think I'm gonna cut this one. I just don't feel like having another vine in here. these all around in here. I'll have to add some of these smaller ones in. Oh shoot, I forgot I had to rinse this little guy. Okay, we got him rinsed. We're gonna do him over here. All right, so I have a total of five in here. No, six. I forgot I had this separate stump. So I have three empty corms and then three with leaves. And only this one came from stratum. That looks 10 times better than what we were working with before. I just have to water it really quick and fill up the reservoir. And here is our little silver dragon. Here's an update on my dragon scale in pawn. Uh, you can see some of the variegation coming through on some of the leaves there. It's doing so well in pawn. I transferred this one uh, several videos ago. And look at the fried eggs. <laughs> look at them. And my top half gave me another big leaf. They're doing so well in pawn. It's absolutely amazing. I gave this a good clean. I wiped everyone off, changed their water, just refreshed everyone. And then I gave my Hoyas a good soak too. I took them to my tub and just cleaned them. And yeah, they really desperately needed it. Everyone was so thirsty in here. So that is it for this portion of the video. Stay tuned for part two. I'm going to look for those Barina extra longer cords so we can finish putting the lights on the shelf. If I can find those tonight, if I don't forget to order them, I'm gonna look for them and order them. And then I imagine it'll probably take a few days, a couple days to come in. And then we will finish putting the lights on the shelf, get all the plants in that area reorganized. 
and we'll do some more plant projects and other stuff, repots, props, rehabs, you name it. Uh, we'll, we'll continue on to do some more of that. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Again, if the audio and stuff sounds a little funny or if things seem a little off, I'm just trying to play with my camera settings a little bit and just seeing how it goes. So hopefully it's not too bad, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.